All right, guys, welcome back to another random video. And in this video, we have a Jeremy DeWitt clone. This guy has it all, man. Lights, sirens, everything. All right, man, let's just get into the video. So you see when you guys turned on the red and blues, so those are basically the options that I have. For all the lights for you and stuff. So. Yeah, that I, I pretty much, that's my car, and I pretty much forgot that I had it like that because it literally yeah, has different setups. Like, I've done that on a private property, and it has like different options for colors. This is an install I did, and I've also done police vehicles as well. So, you know, it's literally something that I have for, like, for example, if I go work on a car like I've done for DV units out of county, out of headquarters. I can sit there and say, well, if you want extra lights, this is what I can offer you. And then the same lights that I use for security, I can demo it to you. And, you know, maybe you can profit from it or me as a business, you know, future, you know, big business owner or whatever, you know, can probably profit from it too. That's, that's all sweet I want to say ride, I though. know what it seems like, but I can promise you it's not that because I'm done with that. I'm done with that. I've been clean for two years and trust me, Metro West wasn't for me because it's, it's not nice. Family hurts. I hurt. See, this is one video I tend to believe this guy. I really do. I don't really even think he's a... Me, this just is my personal opinion. I don't really think this guy is an impersonator, right? I think this guy got a good business going on. Installing, you know what I mean? Installing all these lights and stuff and sirens and people's vehicles. And especially law enforcement, right? But he could be. He could be an impersonator. You know what I mean? I've never seen this video all the way through, so I couldn't tell you all the details. I've seen maybe 15 minutes of it, and I thought, oh, hell, let's, let me make a video of it. You know what I mean? But, yeah, because you know, it may be a good business to do. You know what I mean? Installing those police bars, those lights and everything. You know what I mean? But, yeah, we'll find out if he really is an impersonator coming soon. Here we go. I don't want that. I really don't. We don't, we don't want that either. It's probably not the best option for anybody right now. Like I said, I, I honestly, I haven't made any decisions. I'm, I understand and I respect that fully. And whatever decision you do make, I always respected it. I always did because, you know, I, I know what it seems like. I mean, so, it looks like you do good work. It's just... Got a push uh, bar, a push bumper on that thing and everything. A little bit. I wasn't around, but I'm assuming she did. Like, she did. She did. She told me everything would have seemed like and everything. Anything that would have said security or anything, it would have been like, okay, yeah, I understand. You know, yeah, you have the different options. Okay. And that's you know, why I want to wrap it. I want to wrap it for that same reason. Because I know it'll be less of a headache. Because we to have a wrap that says we put emergency lighting on the side. I mean, not, I mean, realistically, I don't know what you're talking about. I mean, you don't need a cage. I, I, I haven't gotten a chance to that yet, to be honest. I bought the car with it and I haven't gotten a chance to it. The rear partition, I got it because it had actually one to the trunk as well to divide the back seat from the trunk. I was able to get that one out, but that one I, I didn't get to. I would, in the future, I would do anything and everything to make the car not look like any other police cars on the street. I understand the lights, that's fine. You gotta do your light setup, that's, that's, that's straight, no problem. But even if that means like moving the push bar, changing the rims, it's the little things that will Never That's have how this I actually happen. had it recently with those. Yeah. Just because it blended in better and it didn't stand out so much as a cop car. So yeah. I actually borrowed them from a car that I was working on. That's probably so, a better idea. So, you know, idea. maybe something like that. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Because all the changes you made, whether you're trying to make it a demo car. That's the thing, though. The rims. You can have whatever freaking rims you want on your vehicle. Just because it looks like a cop car doesn't mean it is a cop car. You know what I'm saying? This is what's, this is a little thing that's irking me right now. Is that, uh, well, you can change the rims to make it less like a cop car. You know what? He can have whatever rims he wants on there. You know what I'm saying? If I want to have rims with big giant dildos on it, I will have them. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Making it as realistic to a police car as possible. That plus the duty belt plus what you're wearing plus, you know... All well, of that. I can understand that, you know. Sir, get your hands in your then, pocket, put your hands behind your back for me. Sure. Going to jail. Maybe. Our handcuffed name, brother. I'll talk to you now. I'm going to explain your rights. Can you hold this for a second? Look, 
explain to you why you're being arrested. We'll talk about it in my car, okay? She got pink handcuffs. Did you guys ask him if he's been arrested before? He said he, he had a criminal history. We didn't ask him specifically what it was. What is it? She got a pink key, too. Okay, um, so you didn't tell them the full truth, did you? No. That you've been arrested before for impersonating police officers? Well, he kind of mentioned that slightly when he says he's not trying to do that again. Okay. I was, I was arrested when I was 16, 17 for impersonating. Did you tell her you had when 13 felonies? Did you tell her you had 13 felonies? I did state that I had multiple felonies for driving. So you're yes. a convicted felon that's not supposed to have a firearm? Yeah. Well, you were in possession of a firearm when we walked my stuff out. See, that's the thing also. You're in no obligation to the police to tell them your fucking record. It's them. It's on them to look it up. And that woman cop's like, did you tell her? Did you tell her? Who cares? He is under no obligation to tell you his past history. Look it up if you want to know. That's what she did. That's how she found out. But you know what I'm saying? She's acting like he's supposed to tell her. You know what I'm saying? Like, I always come into these videos wanting to be against the police impersonator, right? But sometimes I find myself going against the cops because they're being dicks. You know what I'm saying? Be a nice cop. Arrest them. Take them to jail. You don't need to sit there and be a dick to somebody. That's my only pet peeve after all this stuff is don't be a dick, and then we're fine. Uh, and I got my G license. Well, I applied for my G license. You can't get a G license if you have 13 felonies. When we got here and we were talking to you So I was told that if I cleared my stuff out, I'd Who be Who told you? Because that's not correct. Well, they had told me that it was nonviolent, so I wouldn't have an issue being a security guard. All right, hang on. Let's, let's put him in the car. All right, come on. Let's go in my car. We'll figure it out now. But for right now, as far as I'm concerned, you have 13 felonies. You were in possession of a farm when we walked up to you. Uh, on the other side, there's more room. Louis, let me ask you. Um, we're going to kill your car because we don't want to leave it there. All right? Do you have any other guns or any other weapons in the car? You sure? There's no other firearm we're going to find. There's no other uh, knife, a bulletproof vest. A knife? You can own knives, people. Why are they worried about knives? Okay. And it just says public safety on it. Okay, where is that one at? I might be a I'm a nice connoisseur, so, you know. Okay. And then, is there any if I'm not mistaken, the same gentleman that you spoke to today, he was working with me at the other event, and he did a, 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 a sell of a gun or something like that, and I think there's a firearm in a case, though. In a case? In the car. Okay. If not, it would be the empty case. One of the Samantha's with the car? Yeah. yeah. There's another gun in the car, and he says it's in a case. And just, I need to know because we're going to search the car. I don't want to miss anything and have that gun. possible way that I should call like my dad and the door in the car. If there's a vest? Like that, I don't have that. Okay. Okay. It's in a case and it says it's in a gun. Okay. There has to get to. Okay. But I mean, I wasn't doing anything wrong with the lifestyle. I even showed you my business card and I showed you the Instagram and everything. I believe in the right to bear arms. No one should be not allowed to own a gun. I don't give a fuck. If you're a felon or not, you should be allowed to own a gun. That's just my two cents. And if you all don't like it, that's just me. You can have your opinion. We all can have our opinions and still get along. You know what I'm saying? We can all be friends still. Just because, you know, you're a Democrat and I'm a Republican doesn't mean we got to hate each other. We can still be friends, people. We just, you know what I mean? We have different views of the world. You know what I'm saying? Get along, people. I, I totally understand. Listen, aside from that case with the gun and the, the vest, is there anything else in that car? No, there isn't. There's nothing else. Shouldn't be nothing else, I promise you that. There's probably a knife on the passenger seat, but that's it. Nice passenger And that's for self-defense. Now, let me ask you this. As far as tonight, you work two events? I worked from, 10, from 9 a.m. yesterday. I don't know if you guys are familiar with Reds. Car restoration, they're off of 75th Street and 27th Avenue. Down okay. by Northside. Uh -huh. 
so they were hosting a, a raffle for three cars today, and I was working there since 9 a.m. Okay. I got off at 10, and then I came over here. And you were working in what capacity money. over there? Same capacity. As a, as what? As, as a security officer, same capacity. Okay. And Just, again, my understanding was that I thought that I could because even, even someone had told me that my record was not violent. So I wouldn't have an issue. I thought that I didn't know that just having a felony for whatever it was it would screw me up. I thought they would classify like violent, non-violent, and you know, give a chance, you know, allow people to, you know, fix themselves. That's all I wanted. That's it. Let me ask you, the the license that you applied for, the security license you applied for, was it for armed or unarmed? For armed. For armed. And you still haven't uh I haven't gotten it by mail, the actual hard one. Okay. Have you gotten like an approval or a disapproval or and any? I haven't gotten no letter yet. Okay. And I've had that same address on my license for years. It's the one that I used. Okay. I was just hoping that that's something I'd be able to do because I couldn't be what I wanted to be. For obvious reasons, as you already know. And just so we're on the same page, what was it that you wanted to be? A cop. Okay. I was an explorer when I was little and I wanted to be a cop. Where were you an explorer? From Miami Dade. Out of post 526 in Miami Lakes. I was uh, Miami Beach. I was with Officer Lesmus over there, and then I, I was with Randy Russell and Officer Kimsey out of Northside. Okay. And then after that, when my license started getting messed up, it was downhill from there, so. What was it that you were doing for speeding? No, it, it was for stupid tickets, just I was. You're young. still wearing masks in Florida? Suspended. I didn't even ever get to get a license till maybe about a year or two ago. Okay. So I never did. And then I finally said, you know what, I've had it because I don't want to take this trip anymore. I didn't want to keep going to jail, losing whatever I worked for, the little bit I might have. I, I, I didn't want to lose it. So I said, all right, I can't be a cop. I started doing the installs and that went well because I started, you know, making money from it, obviously, because I started putting work into it. It was a, li a little bit closer to what I wanted to be, but, you know, knowing that I was safe. And then after that, he, the guy that you spoke to, he told me, hey, why don't you do security? And you know, like that, you'll be good. You'll make your money. You can do installs on the weekends. And I honestly thought I was good because I've never robbed anybody. I've never hurt anybody. All I did ever was drive and not listen to not drive. That was it. Okay. But I am wrong. Let me ask you, the lights that you have in the car, have you ever used them? I have used them. I've used them in the past on Okeechobee. Okay. Over by Oki and um, past the turnpike. And the day that I actually used them, I made a video with a few cars there as well. And FHP was by there as well. So I went up to them and I asked them because we were going to do videos with the cars racing with lights and siren. And they said, yeah, as long as I'm not trying to pull nobody over and there's no public traffic, that I was okay. And those are videos that I have on my Instagram, videos outside of my house, videos at my other job that I have on the weekdays that is like a private parking lot. And you know, when I get there sometimes in the morning, I wanna make my video because networking is the only way that I see that I'll be able to make it. All right, and let me ask you, today you're working as an armed uh, security guard here. Correct. And who hired you? American Protective Service Group. Okay, but. So here's the thing about being on private property. I have, uh, I've got the the scoop on that from law enforcement. Uh, when I went for my three day impact program, I had when I got my DUI, I was talking to the sheriff there, and uh, they say even if you're on your private property, your own property, and you're doing something reckless, and uh, technically they they can still pull you over on your own property and uh, arrest you. Like I even went to so far as asking. Because I usually used to, I used to mow the lawn a lot. My riding lawnmower or drinking, I'd have me a beer. You know what I'm saying? And he says, you know, realistically, we can we can arrest you on your own property for for a DUI if they want to. But he says they probably won't pull you over on your own property because unless you're being reckless, unless you're they're, they're watching you and you're you know what I mean you're really being reckless, then they will arrest you. But he says technically, if they wanted to, they could pull you over on your own property for drinking and driving. I thought, what kind of horse is that? You know what I'm saying? You're on your own property. You should be allowed to drink and drive a lawnmower on your own property. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, that's neither here nor there. So 
Let's get back to the story, man. I know you guys love it when I stop the videos. But that's the whole point of these videos. You know what I mean? I review them. And I have to talk in the videos. Or if I don't talk in the videos at all, I'm just using someone else's content. You know what I mean? And it becomes fair use when I'm breaking stuff down and when I'm talking about the content. You know what I'm saying? So... They hired the company and then you're just no. One of they the they hired the company and I work for the company. Correct. Okay. And you mean if Red? Do you, if, if do you the, work here often? I was working every weekend, but won't be able to do that now. So, but yes, I was working here. Every how long? Weekend. How long have you been working there? Maybe about bad for this dude. Time, for real. <laughs> I shouldn't, but I do. Sometimes, maybe before that, I would cover, but not armed. Because again, I, 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 never, I never wanted to go back. I never did. After my last conviction, I said, I'm going to do my time and, you know, fix myself. I, I, I will never lie to you. I, I, I don't enjoy it. I don't. Much less as a gay man. I, I would never enjoy jail like that. Okay. So. Now, let me ask you this. You said you've done this. You've done, like, what? Been arrested before? Yeah. Yeah, I've been arrested before for license. Every time as a habitual, I had to take the ride. It okay. was the reality you, of it, and been, I would tell them. Have you been arrested for anything else? I've been arrested before also for impersonating, and it got dropped. I never got convicted for it. And what? also, when I was younger, I also got arrested for it once because I had some amber lights on my car. And that got dropped as well because I was a juvenile. Okay. But that was it. And last time it was because the officer pulled me over, and he saw that I had the same thing, a vest and stuff. And I told him, listen, I was working. That was it. You can own a vest, people. That Nothing wrong with owning a bulletproof vest. I want to say maybe about three and a half years. Three years, give or take. Okay. Maybe a little bit more. I don't know because I've been clean for a while. Okay. I have. Uh, and you... the What you do for the car, like the stuff you have in there, the, and you bought the car like that? So the car came with a partition, the car came with a spotlight, came with a push bar. The only stuff that I took off was lights that were on the push bar, like yours, that are red and blue. And I took those out and I added mines, which are the green and whites and amber in the push bar. The speakers and some antennas were on it. Others, I added it because it does give it a better look. That was the only reason why. And I, I, I won't even deny it for me. I did add some, you but it was to give it a better, yes, I did add about two of those, but it was to give it a better look. To make it look more like a cup. I guess you can say to make it look more professional, okay. to be honest. Because, again, mm -hmm. as an explorer, I know better. You should know better. I do. I know better. I know, I know what that carries. I'm very, when I got that set up, I got told by several officers. And they told me, you know what that is. And I said, yeah, but you guys, I've done work to the cars. You guys know. And they even told me that it was risky. Just, again, I wanted to be able to have that available. I, I Listen, I totally understand. And not in that sense. In no. the sense, like, for example, you meet me and I so happen to come across you. And I tell you I do installs. And you tell me so happily that you want to add some lights. I wanted to be able to offer the option if I came to do the install and you wanted extra lights, be able to show it to you. Not on a video, but, you know, actually physically. Look, you know, this is the light, this is what it can do. But I didn't think it would get me this, honestly. If I would have known, but, I wouldn't have done it. But you know that you can't have red and blue lights. My understanding... I'm pretty sure, though... On some of those LED lights, you can pick any color you want. It's like, you know, like my laptop here. I can change the key colors to any color I want. You know what I'm saying? So you can change it to red and blue if you want, or amber and green or whatever. You know what I'm saying? My understanding from a cop was that I can have them as long as I didn't use them. And that's why I had set it up to the amber and white. And I, again, I had set up the red and blue for demonstration purposes only. Like maybe at a car show, to have some fun at a car show, that's about it. To be quite honest with you. Okay. That's honestly about it. I, I, again, if I would have known, I can show you a video of how my car was before. I would have never changed it because it, it actually looked nice. I changed it to have that option because I started dealing with some cops in the install. 
So I wanted to be able to offer it. Not just show up to the security guard and be like, look at my lights, they're amber green. But also have the option to be like, hey officer, look, since you know I do installs, I have red and blue lights. I would like to show them to you. Maybe you like them and you might want to get some. That was honestly the only reason why. And why'd you change the tire, the rims on the on the car? It came with those. It came with those? I had changed them to the other ones, like like the ones on that car recently because I was working on a white one like that and it had those hubcaps. And I had put those on my car temporarily because I didn't want it to stand out so much. Because with those center caps, it does stand out. But I initially got the car like that. I can show you a video of the day that I got it with my old car next to it, and it was just like that. Okay. As far as you using the car, you only use it for when you are doing security? Well, no, I use it also for when I do funeral escorts. Because I also, I, again, I've found out that you don't need a license for that, just a driver's license. I don't know if I'm right or wrong. On that, that's what I was told. So I do use was my he working for do it? white lights. I do use them for funeral services. Which I have it on my dash cam in the car as well that I can show you. That's about it. You don't use the car for anything else? No, no personal use? Just personal use. And I went from a Crown Vic to that because of the installs. It was more convenient for me to take the wires, my tools. You know, if I need to take any lights that I might order and receive them for the, you know, whoever, be able to load them up and not have the issue of a Crown Vic. The back that seat of the car is, it's caged in, right? So when I got it, it had this one. And the one that the SUVs have that go to the back, I was able to take that one off when I did the install of the lights, but I honestly never got to this one. And as you can see, you will notice it because the wires are literally on the side. Because I couldn't even find a way to tuck it in, and I just never got to take it off. Okay. That That's about it. Along with the window bars, it also came with window bars. How long have you had the car for? Probably going on two years now. And you said the car is under your dad's name? Correct. It's not under you? No. Do you have any car under you? No, I do not. Why is that? Because also, within the havoc that I wreaked of my license, I also messed up my credit. So, I haven't been able to take out a car into my neighborhood. Mm -hmm. He has a rumbler in the front. As far as the, the rumbler system in the front, the, the speakers, sirens? Yeah, I have that for horn. Okay. There's also sounds, other sounds in there as well, which I've used in the past, but mainly what I use it during escorts is the horn and the rumbler from when I'm going through an intersection so it can be safer for me. And you install them? I'm sorry, yes. You install them? Yes. They didn't come with it? No, no, no. I, I get the rumblers. I deal with a light brand called Phoenix. Okay. So I get rumblers from them at a dealer price and obviously I install it. And my car obviously has one as well, yes. Okay. As far as when you, sh you were showing us the lights earlier, Correct. you were showing us certain light bars and then um, I asked you if uh, I could see the light panel and you agreed. Correct. Because I, I honestly had forgotten. I, I don't know if you have my phone or not. I can show you on my Instagram the different ways that I can play with the lights. And I have videos of all the lights in white and amber and red and blue, a mixture of blue, white, you know, red, white, because you actually can play around with the colors. And I had forgotten that I had set it up like that. When did you set it up like that? I don't know, maybe about a month ago. It was a morning that I was at my job, at my full time job. And I was making Instagram videos of the different colors. So I would just tap the color changer and I would do the white. I did a video of the amber of the red, the blue, the red amber, red white, amber white, amber blue, you know, like you have different colors combinations with it. And as far as the computer that you have in the in the car? That computer, I use it for a system called 9119 net, which is, uh, it's like for security and stuff, for public safety, I guess. Mm -hmm. And they basically offer support for us for when we're working and they can dispatch EMS for you guys if needed. And I can log into a CAD system that they have on the computer because sometimes since they're out of state, the signal on the radios go out. So we have an option like when we're at a post to notate stuff on there to let them know that we can communicate via radio. And just verifying, you don't have a carrying concealed weapon? No, I do not. License? No, I do not. Okay. You don't have 
a physical security license on you? At physical on me at the moment? No, I do not. And you don't have an ID from the company that you I do have an ID from the company, but I do not. The same ID he showed you, the only thing that changes is the badge, because his is gold, obviously, and mine is just regular. It says officer, and that's it. But, but I do have, have that you. ID, but I do not have it on me. I don't because I do have it with the other shit that we use sometimes for work. And the only ID that you showed me today was the, the escort one, right? Correct, yeah, it was the, the one that I gave you. I'm already working for DeWitt. And the badge you had on your uh, belt with the magazine. Executive escorts. That was for the for the executive escorts, not for your security. It's not your security badge. For, for this company, they haven't given me one yet. Why? Because I guess they have to pay for it. And I guess I haven't been on long enough for that, I guess. I don't know. And you say you've worked there for two months? Yes. Okay. Um, is there anything that I didn't ask that you, you would you think is relevant? We're surely taking a long time on this, ain't they? Yeah, I know at the end of the day, you know, it's inevitable. Just, you know, I, 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 I honestly... Last time I got arrested was about four and a half, five years ago. And I truly decided to want to change, like, you know, find something to do, get out of trouble, stop driving, like, I even had to suck it up and ask my parents for help for a long time, just so I wouldn't drive, so I can have them help me. And I, I honestly didn't, didn't see this happening, because it was never my intention. Ever. Like, even when I got my setup, it wasn't my intention at all. And I do apologize if you guys were disrespected any type of way, but it was never my intention to you guys. Ever. You were very contrary, respectful. I, Tonight you, know, you were really respectful. I like respectful. to help you guys out. Like, you know, when I've had an officer approach me about lights or whatever, I, 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 I like it. I, I enjoy it. Okay. But if I meant any type of disrespect, guys, I'm sorry. No, you didn't. Um, let me ask you one last question. Uh, when, when you saw us approaching, you were inside your car, right? Correct. And then you stepped out? I was inside my car because I was tired. So I Listen. Just, just breathe, okay? It was hard because I, I, I honestly didn't see this happening. Okay? Like, I, 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 I didn't want it. I didn't see it. Like, at 32, like, I got my learner's license suspended. And when I got my license a few years ago, I was happy. Cause I never had it. No, listen. I can tell that you're trying to do. You're trying to do the right thing, but you're still going it, about it the wrong, the wrong way. way. I and, and I think you you know that you are doing it the wrong way, but you 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 don't mean the ill intent, right? I don't. I just like I told you when they told me that my charges were non-violent because I did explain to them. I was like, look, I want to be a security, but I have this in my past. And they were like, well, if it's non-violent, you know, it shouldn't be an issue. Because I told them, you know, it's been driving. But I, I didn't think that I would be classified as someone else like that. I, I, I thought by it being non-violent. Hello? I, I, I mm -hmm. uh, Listen, you, you got to be very uh, careful. Uh, right now, she's, okay. she's interviewing him. All right. Uh, let, me, let me pass you to Vargas. Um, just Hold give on. us a few yeah. minutes. And uh, I'll come back and talk to you, okay? Hi. Would you like to speak to your family? I'm not going to call them at this time and wake them up. I did that way too many times before. I'm not doing that at their age. Okay. I'm not. Is there anybody you would like to call? A friend? Anybody? I'll let you think about it and I'll come and ask you, okay? You want me? Remember? All right, guys, that's the end of the video, man. Yeah, another uh, impersonator, which I don't know, dude. What do you guys think? Tell me in the comments below if you think this guy is really an impersonator or he's just trying to get his life back together. I really don't know, man. It seems like he sounded sincere. You know what I mean? Just let me know, man, in the comments below. All right, guys, till next time. Peace out.